Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson. This is my cat tack. And today's review is going to be on the second installment on my top 10 horror list. And that's the 1982 film, The Thing. Now, I did like the prequel film that came out in 2011. Um, I, I, the only thing I didn't like about it was the CGI effects. And I'm not a fan of CGI when they don't have to use it. But this movie, that movie was a perfect example of how a studio can ruin a film. Because um, they actually had practical effects like the original but the, the studio said, oh, we got this new technology, so use this instead. Scrap all your work that you've done and throw this in there. And, and that's what we got. Even though the, the studio you know, made, may have made that mistake, the um, makeup design artists and stuff you know, did really well with what they had to work with. And, and I appreciated it for that, but I still think that it made the, the movie itself you know, fall apart. But anyway, my, the 1982 thing is one of it was a struggle between this one and my number one pick um, which one was going to be the best but I think you'll agree when you see my number one pick that I picked the right one um, but this film I, I love it is one of my favorite films of all time um, not just horror but of any movie I can watch this movie once a year and I'm, I'm good um, and, I, and I definitely think if you haven't seen it to definitely check it out it has the best practical effects of any movie to date um, and granted you know Star Wars set the standard of using practical effects and what things should look like without CGI and um, you know but they didn't have it at that time and that's what I love about most of the movies of the 70s and 80s is that they didn't have all this technology that looks like a cartoon when you're mixed in with live action. I just, I just don't like it. Um, but this movie is the best practical effects that you'll ever see and the most horrifying practical effects that you ever see. They try to remake stuff like this all the time but they never can get it right because they always use um, special effects you know CGI and I just don't understand it. They could just use the thing as a reference on how to do practical effects smart and it's not just about the effects and everything in this movie it's also a mystery because the thing is can be a one one cell of this alien organism is a complete animal and if it gets in your bloodstream you can become one of the things and and it could be in multiple people and multiple people could be things and that that's the thing about this movie that's you know kind of terrifying in itself is that you don't know if your best friend is the thing and these this group of research um, scientists are you know in Antarctica in an isolated you know little uh, facility and this dog comes running up in the very beginning of the movie and that that the dog is the a thing and it eventually starts infecting everybody in the camp and they start turning on each other and you don't know who the thing is which creates one of the best scenes in horror history and that's the blood test you know eventually everybody gets tied up you know on this couch and they're doing a blood test cause you know when they apply heat to blood it, it reacts you know cause it tries to survive and it, you know what and fire it's afraid of and um and the scene when when that thing jumps out of the petri dish it it, it still make me jump today and i know it's coming because i've seen the movie a hundred times um but if you haven't seen it before and it's your first viewing you are going to love that scene because it, it's just one of the greatest um sequences in film history but anyway guys um what do you think of the thing have you seen it or do you plan on watching it i definitely suggest it for anybody that's a fan of horror you know it is horrific and if you like you know gross um horror films <laughs> this is the best one ever made so i definitely suggest it for anybody all right guys well let me know in the comments below um are you excited about number one because i am um i can't wait to talk about this thing now i am going to give some honorable mentions at the beginning of the film so it might um you know be a little bit longer than my normal um videos but not too much longer i'll try not to talk too much sometimes i get on a roll and i just can't shut up so um i have to shut myself up at times but anyway guys like my videos subscribe to my channel and remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bye.